Kramer, what are your best bets? I'm keeping it incredibly simple. Yeah, Scott NFL. Uh, uh, we're taking in a, a side bet on Scotty Scheffler. Okay, seven point dog. And then we're gonna take a uh, first touchdown size bet on Brooks Kepka plus two thousand. See what I'm doing? I'm getting us ready for football season. We're almost there. Eating so. that chalk. Just giving you unit sizes. What do you I, mean eating that chalk? I'm gonna just do his therapist. His therapist would say that he has to like to go outside what he knows. <laughs> this is excellent, by the way. I might, I might have to go back and, and listen to this just it's to harvest some episode. drops. Yeah, some some, um, uh, some new capper drops. I'm I'm big on Brooks Kepka to win. To Steve's point, it's got a two in front of it. I'm tempted by those odds, twenty to one. My boy Tommy Fleetwood, I'm gonna ride you till we die at forty to one. That's and also Mackenzie clip. Hughes, so dumb, so dumb. Mackenzie Hughes, with. who I just learned about, uh, top twenty plus four hundred. And then I won a uh, around a first round leader. And I'm gonna go to my golf gambling podcast experts Ooh. here. Steve, who do you like for first round leader? I'm gonna play one Steve first round leader and one capper oh. first round leader. I'll right, pull it up. I mean, See, it's a what, li- what do you like? I mean, I mean, it's chalky, but Rory tends to get out to really fast starts these major championships, and you know, maybe you the USGA sets it up a little easier on day one where he can go on fire, you know, a sixty-five or so, five under, get out to an early lead. So, you know, maybe Rory, and then uh, you know, we'll see where it happens when he uh, from there. Rory McIlroy, mm. first round leader. I number? like it. Uh, I'm trying to find that Kramer. Do you have the first round leaders? Uh no. All right. I'm gonna pull that up here in a second. I'm sure someone Capper, does. who do you have uh first round leader? What do you like? So I always love I, I always love uh Rory first round leader. Yeah. No, wow. I mean he, set him setting up for a uh a, a bad uh finish is is right in my wheelhouse. But what do you yeah. like uh what do you like outside of Rory for a round one leader? We gotta look at some early tee times, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and follow the sword again. Keegan Bradley has a good early tee time. Oh, it's fifty wow. to one. Let's All right. Go. All right. All right. So I Rory, found the odds, Sean. Rory is uh, twenty-two to one, and Keegan, you said is uh, is fifty-five, 55. to one. All right. Let's get it. So you're saying there's no value in Ricky Fowler? No, Ricky <laughs> Fowler fucking sucks balls. He should have been on the guard. Damn Ryder Cup team. He took Keegan's spot, and oh, I hope that, he never wins anything ever again. This oh, entire now he comes it. out. There we go. All right, all right, gents. A lot of fun, but yeah. uh, toss us out a, a pick. Obviously, everyone's going to be subscribing to the Golf Gambling Podcast. Get your full U.S. Open breakdown. Get all your picks over there. But uh, Steve, what's another uh, what's another play for the people here? You like? Well, I mean, I've, I've been saying that this guy is going to win since December, and it got off to a very rocky start. <laughs> Uh, early this year, but he reconciled with his coach. The ball striking has definitely come back. And if I'm thinking about a guy who, who has gone toe to toe with Scotty Scheffler and prevailed and a guy who could boat race the field, like a Martin Keimer did. Uh, I like where Victor Hovland's sitting uh, at this U S open right now. Uh, you know, you know, ball striking is great. The kryptonite on him is the round the green game. But as we've talked about, you don't have to have a great short game to get around Pinehurst. It's a little different this week. Uh, I think he could follow that blueprint and at 20 to 1, 22 to 1. I think he has the talent to uh, get a win. As far as the top 20, you know, I, he's a very popular outright this week, but I think about a consistent ball striker who has just done very well in U.S. Opens. How about Hideki Matsuyama? Yeah. Top 20 wow. plus 175. I think getting almost two to one odds on that's pretty good. And that top 40 price, uh, you know, I, I got my eye on Victor Perez hitting his irons really good coming into uh, this tournament. Damn you know, pretty it. good, almost from, <laughs> pretty good <laughs> showing at the Memorial T12 last year at Oak Hill. So he, he's showing he can do pretty well in the major championship. I like his form coming in. Uh, Victor Perez, top 40, uh, plus 185. Oh, I almost shout had out, him in the lineup. Shout Fuck. out to uh, Japan in the YouTube chat. Uh, mm. Username Japan. Loves, Big fan of Japan. Loves Hideki Matsuyama. And he also liked uh, Hideki and DFS at 8,000, which is a pretty good price for Hideki there. Uh, Capper, toss out a couple plays. And obviously, everyone's going to be subscribing. Golf Gambling Podcast. Follow them on the X as well. Golf Gambling Pod. Uh, you can find them. Uh, what do you got for the folks, Capper? So, Corey Connors over Cam Young. Cam Young is a prophet that everyone thought was coming, and he did not. He is terrible at golf. <laughs> Give me Corey Connors. Uh, even money, fucking plus, even money, the best. 
36, 36 holes. Let's go. Um, other than that, I think Steve said, I guess. I don't know. I like this. We got there. Capper got rattled. Uh, he, Stay safe, Capper. Stay safe out there. Uh, of course.